Marriage, <laughs> marriage is what brings us together today. The present arrangement that dream within a dream. And love, true love, will follow you forever and ever. <laughs> Sorry, wrong script. <laughs> Let us try this again. Are you okay? No. Are you proud? Thank you. Shuri and Del want me to thank you for being here and recognize seeing how important each and every one of you are here to the to the relationship. We are here today to celebrate the wedding of Shri and Dell and to be witnesses and supporters of their commitment they share with one another. Together, we are a group of important people in their lives, and they have asked us here to publicly recognize their love for each other. In Jehovah God's eyes, marriage is much more than a social arrangement. It is a sacred union between a man and a woman. The Bible says, from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. And on this account, a man will leave his father and mother, and the two will become one flesh. Therefore, what God yoked together, let no man put apart. A good marriage must be built on a strong foundation. In marriage, the little things are the big things. 
you are never too old to hold hands. Remember to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to be going to bed angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forgive. In the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous, it does not brag. Love is not rude, love does not behave indecently. Love does not look for its own interest. Love does not keep account of the wrongs. Love does not rejoice over unrighteousness, but rejoices in the truth. And it bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The road that has brought Sri and Dell here today has not been easy. It's been filled with challenges that were not necessarily, they were not necessarily prepared for. But together, they have taken each one of those experiences to strengthen, not weaken their love. Who gives this woman in marriage? The Harbor family does. May we have the rings? Sheree, take Delmar to be your lawfully wed husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for rich or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward, till death do you part. Do you, Delmar, take Cherie to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have it to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward, till death do you part? I do. Think about it, Del. May we continue? Cherie. Please place the ring on Dell's finger and say from your heart what you feel. Dell, please place the ring on Cherie's finger and please say what you feel from your heart. <coughs> no choice but to say, by virtue of the authority vested in me as Deputy Commissioner of Marriages, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, down and friends, it is my pleasure to introduce to you now for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Delmar Richard Wright.
everything in this world All that I'll ever need So you rise Shine and let me Oh, my God. 